I'd like to thank you for joining us this week. In the drive, we've got a 2014 Mini Cooper hardtop. Reintroduced to the country in 2004, the Mini Cooper has become very popular in the two-door hatchback segment. It's a lot of fun to drive. Now this model happens to have the sport package, so we're rolling on some 17-inch wheels with run-flat tires. We've got a turbocharged engine under the hood backed by an automatic, a really nice two-tone color scheme inside, and a lot of new technology features. Under the hood of our 2014 Mini Cooper hardtop, we're gonna find that we've got a 1.5 liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine. Now this engine does produce 134 horsepower and 162 pound-feet of torque. Now we happen to be backed by the automatic transmission instead of the standard six-speed. So this thing is rated for 41 miles per gallon on the highway, 29 in the city for 34 miles per gallon combined. It'll do it if you can keep your foot out of it because it's a lot of fun to drive. Go around the interior of our Mini Cooper, we're going to see we've got a nice two-tone color scheme, lots of gloss black trim, big easy to reach door pulls, handles, got a little ambient lighting in here to highlight our audio system, switch controls, even got a little bit of wood grain built in here to kind of highlight things. Now our dash, we're going to see that the driver's space, got the big large gauge here that Minty's become famous for as well as the uh, large tack. This side we've got a nice little LED countdown on our fuel gauge. On the steering wheel we've got our thumb controls for our uh, cruise control as well as our audio system, our Bluetooth, and our voice activated nav system. Now coming over to the center stack we're going to see that we've got a nice large round uh, design here with the monitor kind of built into the middle of it and some of our manual audio controls here. Now this does have a nice LED ring around it, kind of highlights a few things. Now the controls for several of the functions are all down here within easy reach of the driver. Now this is where we're going to see our drive modes of sport or green, but we're also going to see that this is where we're going to see our menu, where we can go to our nav system, we can go to our radio. All these are controlled right here, easy to reach and uh, get to. Got some pretty good graphics. And then we're going to come on down and we're going to see that here's the manual controls for our climate system. We've got heated seats, the defroster, the AC. Now these switches are really kind of um, kind of neat looking. I mean this is a sporty little car and it's got some neat little fixtures, fixtures and this is the start stop button itself and kind of gives it a different kind of a almost an aircraft type look because sometimes you feel like you're flying in this thing. Of course down here we got a 12 volt power supply. Our cup holders then are our shifter here and we do have a manual mode for whenever we are setting over into the sport system. Got an armrest back here that's got a little bit of storage in it. And it will fold up out of the way. And coming on around the um, interior, we're going to see some more of that wood grain effect. And this is actually another little storage area right here. And of course, we got our glove box down here. And another view of the uh, door panel with the speaker system, the large door knobs, and uh, the ambient lighting. Now, our seats are heated. Got some nice stitching and panels in here. Some really nice bolstering here. Kind of wrap around while you're, you're in this thing because um, it is a lot of fun to drive. Inside the rear hatchback of our Mini Cooper, we're going to see we've got some storage area here. We've got our drop down cover to kind of keep things out of sight, out of mind. And we're going to see that we've got a 60 40 seat arrangement that folds down. Now this is accomplished pretty easy. We've got a nice little lever right up here on the top. Simply pull it up and the seat folds forward. Makes it very easy to drop the seat and put more cargo in here if you need it. Now underneath, we're also gonna see that we've got some more dry storage. This is really where you wanna put the things out of sight, out of mind. It will lock up out of the way for some taller items. And we've got some net here for those soft items. 
Everything easily pulls back into place, locks down, and we're good to go. We'd like to thank you again for joining us in the drive as we've been putting some miles on the 2014 Mini Cooper hardtop. Our sport package includes the 17-inch wheels, we happen to have the sunroof, and we've got a hatchback that lifts up to provide more space for more cargo. If you get a chance to drive one of these nice vehicles, we highly recommend it. It is a lot of fun. Thank you again for joining us. See you next time in the drive.